Well, boys and girls, if all goes to plan, this should be all of the matches now to take us through until the end of the season. If you're looking at the length of the video and it seems a little short and you're like, that seems weird. I can't imagine he's played 11 matches there. That means at some point during this video, I came this close to getting sacked or maybe did get sacked. So there's your jeopardy. I, ha I nearly cried on stream last night. <laughs> I was very close to crying. <laughs> oh, I've not had a save go this wrong for a long time. And the thing that hurts the most is I know there's people who are going to say, get Zealand to save your save. And I can't think of anything I'd want to do less. I'd rather just not ever make a YouTube video again than give Zealand the satisfaction of thinking he could help me at Football Manager. Imagine a world where Zealand could help me at Football Manager. <sighs> Abs right, Jesus is going out on loan. Let's get some game time for him. Do you want to know the really ironic thing as well? Um, people have been moaning all the way through the Man City save that the game is too easy. Today's thumbnail is literally the schedule screen showing us lose. What have I just done? Why is Farinas leaving? Oh, I've just made a terrible mistake. <laughs> Farinas is gone. Oh, no. 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 Why did I even have an offer accepted? When did that come in? When did that offer come in? So they made an offer on the 7th. So last week they made an offer that inexplicably I didn't... I didn't reload. I did, I'm already in reload mode. I didn't decline... Why didn't I decline it? Oh, well, that... Is a problem. Because we're not going to find a better centre-back than him for £5 a week, are we? I think in my head, he, um, he was going at the end of the season. I mean, he is one of those who didn't want to re-sign. So I guess on a certain level... Right, we're going to put the positive spin on this now. It, it was all deliberate. We are now going to spin it into a positive... We're not going to finish bottom with or without him. He's not going to be here next season. So get him gone and just focus on building next season's team. Same with uh, one of the Ivans at the back, this guy. He refuses to sign a new contract for next year. I don't care that he's four-star current ability. If he wants to go now, go now. Get, get out of here. It's we we are building a team for next year now. He's gone for only fifteen pounds a week. Oh, that makes it so much worse. Oh my word! <laughs> I thought he was going to go and earn like two hundred pounds a week or something. They want me to pay to bring him back. Let's see what happens. <laughs> Can you imagine? I just bring him straight back. He doesn't miss a game. There you go, look. Straight away, Romeo is in to get me a, a winger. I tell you what, Romeo, Romeo, Romeo. Right, I know for a fact that Sports Interactive don't allow you to do that, make players natural in six positions. I've said it many times before, but I tried to do it with Lee Tomlin when I was the posh researcher years ago, and they said I wasn't allowed to. Um, but this guy's, this guy's managed to slip through. He is a natural in six different positions. That seems like that would come in handy. £230 a week for a 32-year-old that we don't really need, though. Although, to be fair, we do need a midfielder. Right, let's... Um, I mean, I guess win. We won our last game. But we, we are off the back of a 5-0 win, remember? Nothing bad can happen when a team is off the back of a big win. <laughs> oh god what's the dynamics like now We're, our club atmosphere is up to very good I'll have you know we just don't have any defenders anymore oh look at that that's a lovely pass here we go look at us go we're doing football oh my word what a goal it's offside but what what an incredible passage of play look at us I mean that's not ideal but the rest of it was lovely. We, I mean, you can laugh. but And again, look, a through ball. I tell you what, Ocon is a central midfielder. 
And that one's actually been given. We weren't creating any chances in that 4-4-2. So, um, yeah, I'm hoping that'll be enough for people. Of course, we've given away a penalty, though. A YouTube short. I might do a U I've realistically not got time for a YouTube short before I go away. If Topher wants to uh, pull that last 30 seconds out and make it into a short, he can do that if he wants to. But it is that simple. You, and the instructions say exactly that. Drag this folder here, drag this folder here, and then it will just work. Chapman goes bargain hunting, does he? He's just let go of his best player who was only on £5 a week. Is that really bargain hunting? Bar bargain hunting. Right, let's get some of these players who are out on loan out of the first team squad so I can actually get a proper look at what I'm dealing with here. We've got anyone in the dev centre we can move up because it seems silly for us to have greyed out players on the bench. We can't bring another goalkeeper up, but I think all of these boys with five-star potential come up to the first team squad. Because why not? There you go. That's that's added a few more players into the first team squad. Um, <laughs> that's just been <laughs> that's just been passed on to my desk, and I'm supposed to have a reaction of like, I mean. I feel like I need a little more information. Ivan wants a new contract, boss. Do you think we should... Uh, why is it another one of my players bringing that to my attention, by the way? Wait, since when has that been a thing? What is my assistant manager getting paid for? So this guy is telling me that this guy wants a new contract. I mean, the last time I spoke to him, he didn't want one. So if he's now decided he does want one, I guess that's nice. <laughs> Um, yeah, you can have a new cut. I mean, does that mean the guy we've just sold would have signed one? You're not having any of this. Oh, £15 a week. You're not having a promotion pay rise. Yeah. Well, there we go. Right, there you go. We're getting this guy. Who does look quite good. That's nice. The attributes are close to meaningless at this level because the game isn't supposed to work at this level. And it kind of doesn't. Ignacio Pierce! What a man! Look at us up to mid-table again. Beautiful. Oh, look at us go. We've turned into a good football team. I'm loving it. Shoot! Come on, new boy. Who? And I quote, isn't... Uh, hold on. That guy isn't good at anything. 27 minutes into his debut, I want a that guy isn't good at anything t-shirt. Yeah, we had a team meeting that helped dynamics as well. We had a fitness friendly. There's been a, a number of contributing factors. It's not just closing the game and opening it up again. But I suspect that has had a, a slight help. Did I know the VPN company and the food company used to sponsor me instead of my Twitch page? I don't really know how to get to that page and take them off. I'm not very good at Twitch. I'll figure it out eventually. Like I say, hopefully Nord will be back. They're just having their silent silent July. So hopefully, come August, you'll see their little logo appear there again. So I don't want to uh, don't want to burn any bridges with them because I was with you because you paid me to be you paid me to do a brand deal. But I had to sign up and subscribe to it myself, and then you reimbursed me. And then when I cancelled. You keep bringing me dressing to start it up again. Put me through to your marketing department. If they pay me to do another month, I'll pay you for another month. That's how this is going to work. I'll Alicante be blue on the lead table because that's who we're playing. Come on! But more often than not, we'll... Uh, we're, like I say, we're all over the place. I don't have time to cook. Oggers, thank you for the prime. Lovely. Look at that form. Ooh. La Liga, here we come. Just want this youth intake now. Football. Ah, oh, Topher's here. Topher, we're good at football now. We're really good at football. We win all the matches and everything. You do have to start behaving yourself now, boys and girls. So now Topher's here. Teacher's arrived. Look at the beautiful uh, shirt numbers as well on these players now. 
What a difference. Like I say, Request a Kit did that in less than an hour for me from when I asked. And it took me two days to remember he'd done it and actually set it up. But we can see the numbers now. So there's a thing for you. I wasn't really paying attention and we sold Ivan the Defender for nothing. Oh, he's not any good at anything. Oh, he's a goal a game, but he's not any good at anything. It was a great thing. Uh, I don't know how many of you like me follow Grantham Town on Twitter. Hold on. Hold the phone. He's only gone and done it again. We said just a couple of days ago that Fakal had scored the goal of the series and no one would ever do anything like it again for as long as the save has run. I think he's just improved his own goal of the series because that was on his weak foot from even further out. Fakal is a hero. My word. Will I be cheering on Bont in Europe later? Um, I would very much like Bont to get through to the next round. I wish I could be there, but UEFA selfishly scheduled the match for the night before I go away so I couldn't go. Oh, 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 Peckers! Oh, look at that. We're winning again. Look at us. We're suddenly a good team. Peckers, lovely, lovely, lovely. He never scores just one goal, that boy. They're now below us in the league. Let's have a look at their goalkeeper. Oh, their goalkeeper's called Amigo. That's even better. <laughs> oh, poor old Amigo. Wowzers, not only can he score from everywhere, we're going to get... The There's no mention of the commercial boost because we're a tier five team. But Fakal not only can score where he wants... Fakal is gay as well. I mean, we're going to get the rainbow flags all over the shop now. Whichever one of you that is, you won't be able to hide your gammonness forever. So as soon as we notice your mask slip, we'll have you and you'll be gone anyway. You may as well just do it under your real account. Also gives me a bit more time to continue with my ongoing push to relaunch the vlog channel, which I haven't even looked at how today's video is done. I'm loving the stuff we're doing over there at the moment. And then we had the quite interesting story of me giving up work to become a full-time YouTuber and and Andy getting Andy back into school and like the a couple, we had a good six or nine months where there was some quite engaging storyline stuff going on. And then it became pretty formulaic and bland for the last year or so. I got so bored of it. I much prefer what I'm doing now with that channel. When is the next best thing from next week? And it's new format. Best thing for our, it's going to be best thing from Milton Keynes week. There's five videos coming out over the course of the week from Milton Keynes. Oh no. Oh no. It was all going so well. Right. We're playing against the team who are top of the league now. There was a brief moment when we were in the lead in that game and only nine points off second place. I was thinking nine points off the top, off the off a promotion with seven games to go. It's unlikely, but it's possible. I guess we notice it more in other languages. When you get fifteen years in, are all the English ones called John? Oh, look at that from Pierce. He is playing for a contract because I think I'm probably happy to let him go in the summer. I think he's on a couple of hundred pounds a week and. He's not really my kind of striker. So I think Pierce is probably on his way. Oh, that's a lovely cross from Fakal again. Oh, my word. When he's not scoring streamers, screamers, it's beautiful crossing. He's too good for this level. What a cross that was. <laughs> well, we have just beaten the team top of the league. Without that mid-season horrible form, we genuinely could have got promoted this season, I think. This is starting to look like a decent side for next year. There you go. Fakal's got his new contract, which is lovely, lovely, lovely. 
Yeah, I don't get any pain in my knee on a day to day basis, but yeah, kicking a football. Bad idea. Right, Nandy's coming in to play centre back for us for the last few games. I wish Lorente would just leave, but I imagine no one else is willing to give him anywhere near £160 a week. What he needs to realise is at this point, it's nearly the end of March. At this point, surely he could score himself a contract for next year. And I promise you, Javier Lorente, there is no chance you are getting a contract for next season at this club. So you may as well just leave. This is a pay rise, though. Oh, oh. So she wants top half next season. That's doable. Can we push the wages up a bit, though? Come on, Mrs. Wearmouth. Oh, £950 a week. That, boys and girls, is what's known as a budget. Right, Ferris is playing for a contract because I've just said no to him. Of all the ones that we just did contract negotiations with, he was the one who I just was like, no, not a chance. He hasn't really impressed me since he signed. So he's now got four more games to impress me. And there he is picking up an assist. So maybe this is the start of him deciding to impress me. I haven't done a YouTube video yet. No, we're going to do one shortly. We're going to do the last couple of games of the season as a YouTube video. Who watches the game from this view? I mean... <laughs> I, don't, I don't even know why this exists. Do you reckon anyone has ever watched a match from this angle? It's ridiculous. I mean, if you want a data analyst view, at least take it into like there. Watching it up there. I mean, they've got palm trees, which is a nice touch. I didn't realize we had location context sensitive scenery, but you don't get palm trees in England. So we have palm trees. There, that, you say there's one car in the car park. That's an ambulance, I think. Why is the pitch a square? <laughs> I don't understand. <laughs> um, well, there you go, then. Let's watch it on the square pitch. Oh, look at it. You miss this, really. What on earth are you getting out of this? Do you think the Saudi leagues will be brought in? I think it's hard not to with all of these recognised players going to play there. I think it's hard to avoid, isn't it? Whether they'll be able to get that in for FM24, because it seems like it's kind of just appeared... The Saudi league has appeared in the last six months, so whether that gives them enough time to get the research and everything in place to get it in FM24 or if it waits for FM25, but I expect it will be in the game soon enough. Right, are we ready? Drum roll, please! As we prepare for the youth intake, where, as a minimum, we want a first-team ready central midfielder, a first-team ready centre-back, and a five-star potential striker. That's what we're looking for, as a minimum. Two of them are called in Ivan. <laughs> so we got a midfielder, but he's never going to be good enough to play for us. We got a left winger called David, who's slow. We've got a left back called Ivan, who's slow. Gonzalo Rochera is a strike right. Hold the phone. We have a four and a half star potential striker. There we go. This is the guy. A five foot nine left back. Now you're talking. Ah, not 45 minutes. We're starting to put together next season's team. 
Come on, gentlemen. Oh, that was a, possibly a crunching tackle. Is view only not enough for that? Not usually, no. Oh, they've given the ball away there to Jorge. Come on. Oh, he's released Fakal. Oh, it's a heavy, a heavy cross. But Pierce is there. Come on. What? I have never had that happen before. Holy smokes. How are we spending 3,000? What have I done? What, we think that's the youth intake? How much are the youth players on? Oh, no, 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 no. This is a disaster. All these youth players on £25 a week. Hazza, thank you very much for the prime. Um, well then. Did we not get a youth grant? How many youth players have we just brought in on that kind of money? Oh, God. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen players on £25 a week. If £25 is the minimum wage, then I'm really confused because our first team are mostly on less than that. <laughs> oh, no. Right, well, we'll just have we'll deal with this in the summer. I mean, Pierce got a hundred pound a week pay rise. Kula Bali came in on two hundred and thirty. So with the youth play, we're up to like seven hundred and fifty now. I mean, yeah, that it seems about right. Uh, okay, we'll worry about it in the summer. I mean, yeah, this is perfect demonstration that FM can't handle anything at this level. Finances is another example. 